appreciate your business. Who lived here, I wonder? Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Bardo Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. Excuse me, did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? Oh, hello again. How nice to see you. And yes, I did. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumour is he was seen in the forest practising dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. Shame, really. With Ranrock's camps cleared out, I have a feeling he'd have given up on dark magic altogether. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive or worse. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper, one that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her.
This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. I'm not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Aloha, Rebellion. I should investigate. Is all right. What are you looking for exactly? Thank you for passing through. Madame Beaumont, I believe I have some news of your brother. Badolf? What do you know of my brother? I regret to say that Badolf had been turned into an inferior, and I had to kill him. What? But... but how could you possibly think that an Inferius was my brother Bardolf? That's absurd! He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand-knitted. <gasps> no! No! This can't be! <gasps> I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. Oh, Badolf! <laughs> 